Hello and welcome back. Let's try to understand a compound data type in Python, the list. Lists are compound data types and they can hold multiple values at once, like this. So I have you now kept you know, three integers in a list. To enclose in a list, I've used the rectangular brackets. When you use rectangular brackets and specify comma separated values, that creates a list object. Let's create a sample list. And when I'm trying to print the sample list, it's going to print all the values in there with rectangular brackets. So if I try to do type or use type method to see what is the data type of this object, it will output list. And list is the type of the object. List can handle heterogeneous data. So here, if you look at the squares list, we have integers, a string, and a Boolean value. When I try to execute this, it's going to create the uh, list object with all these values. List can be indexed like uh, strings. The index starts from 0. The squares of 0 is going to be 1. Squares of 1 is going to be 4. Squares of 2 is going to be 9, like that. Squares of 5 is going to give you column because it's a fifth index. As the index starts from 0, the sixth value is going to be outputted. Like in strings, we can use negative indexing also. Squares of minus 4 will give you a value from the right side. Minus 1 index is the true, minus 2 index is column, minus 3 is 25, minus 4 is 16. Right? You can slice the strings, the lists as strings. So if you slice the same way as strings, it starts from the index, you no, know, 1 colon 3 means it starts from here till 2 only. The last index will not be considered. Same as in strings. So 4 and 9 are the values which are present at first index and second index. The third index is not considered like in strings. And we can do stepping also. In squares there are values and we wanted to extract them from beginning till end and then we wanted to step 2 that means ignore 1 at a time. right? The index 0th index value is 1, 4 ignored, this first index is ignored. The second index is outputted, third index is ignored, fourth index is outputted like that. We can actually do negative index, negative stepping also, like in strings. If I say minus 1, it's going to give you a reverse of that list. So, this is same as strings. And then we can concatenate two lists by using plus operator. So, I have taken one list here. I am saying it as a list because the values are enclosed inside the rectangular brackets. Here also the values are enclosed in rectangular brackets. So I am calling that as a list. So when I concatenate them with plus, they both get concatenated and gets created. You know, one list, 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 list gets created. So we need to understand mutability and immutability. We already have seen strings and now we want to see what is mutability and immutability by taking string as example for immutable object and list as an example for mutable object. What is immutability? Immutability means not, cha not changeable. What is not changeable here? In string, if I take word is equal to python, word of 2 is some value. What is that value? What is that character? 0th index is p, first index is y second index is t. So I am trying to change t as c. It is not allowed. That is immutability. You cannot, you know, once a string is created, string variable is created, you cannot access a particular index and update the value at that given index. That is immutability. But in lists, we can update. See this, when I try to update the value at second index, it throws an exception saying that Stringy, string object not support item assignment. So, but in squares, squares is a list here. I created a squares list here and I am trying to update a value at 5th index. What is the 5th index value? Column. I am trying to change that value to 36. 
it accepted right so when i try to print it column got changed to 36 i have taken another list of cubes one cube two cube three cube this is wrong four cube is 64 so we have to update that to update it we will take cubes of 3 the index 3 0 1 2 3 and i have taken 4 star star 3 that means 4 cube if i use only 1 star it is multiplication if i use double star it is to the power of so the value got updated so lists are mutable strings are immutable we will touch upon this mutability immutability concept again in dictionaries and keys keys of the dictionaries so that's about uh, uh, the the lists and uh, slicing and indexing we have got api for lists what is api application program programming interface application programming interface is present for many of the open source languages or other languages also like dotnet so what is application programming interface is the python interpreter was built by somebody and the lists tuples dictionaries and other methods and packages and the uh, classes were built by somebody else so we wanted to know what exactly is present in there so here i am using a method append on list cubes is a list i am using append method to append a, a value 216 at the end of the list and again after appending 216 i am trying to append 7 cube also to 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 the list let us see what happens here when i execute this and try to print i've got two more values two more new values 216 and 330 343 right two values got added that means the append method is adding values at the end of the list so i have used this and how do i know that that append method is there and it's going to work like this so to give you that clarity the api is useful so api documentation will have all the things you know documented clearly whoever actually built this api this uh, class will write the methods and their behaviors you know in a document that is called as application programming interface so this link gives you or take you takes you takes you to the place where the api is present when i click on this list you can see all the methods present you know how to use the method how to use list object and then you know all the methods present in list object like you know the list class sort is a method right you know tuple class then you know range is a method and all the all the you know details about those classes and the methods available in there will be present in the api so if you want to explore more on lists and try to practice more you can actually look into the api and look at the methods and use them or practice them why do you need api and why do you need to look into these methods this is all boilerplate plate code when i say boilerplate code if you write a code multiple times in a project we call that as boilerplate code we can actually write that one you know that block as a method and keep it at a place or a function and keep it at a place and use it we can do it ourselves or the, the language can provide on its own so the language is providing many methods there like you know copy append extend right sorry extend pop remove right all these methods instead of you writing code there are there is a behavior for those methods and you can use them so using looking at api and using the methods is very you know productive while building the applications i would suggest you to go through this link and then you know practice a little more and the next concept is assigning slices to the list if you look at this list i have taken a list of characters a b c d e f g and then and then i am trying to look at a slice from 2 to 4 0 1 2 3 right so 2 to 4 is c and d okay so i am going to update this c and d with the pqrs right the pqrs is a list again and i am trying to update a slice with a list the slice i have taken has got only two characters 
but the list I am updating is having four characters. It will actually update. See that? It actually updated the CD with the PQRS. How is this happening? Let us see. Let me take a screenshot. So if you look at a list, the list is going to be like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So there will be links assigned from you know backward and forward both directions like this. When I try to you know update the two to four, what is two to four? This area. Right? Update with this list. What happened is it actually broke the link here and it took this list P Q R S it actually took you know broke the link and connected it here. So these two are gone. So we have got this you no know, the new list where we have updated a slice C D with PQRS another list. Okay, that's how it is happening. So you can actually remove a slice the two to five you if you want to remove you need to update with a blank list. Okay, and you want to see all the items in the list you can actually do the slice or you can just print it or you can update the whole list with a blank list like this. Nested lists. Nestle, nested lists can be created like this. So A is a list and N is a list and then X is enclosed. You know the A and N are enclosed in rectangular brackets. It became a nested list. So to access value in there we actually need to use double indexing. So there is 1 and 2. So this is 0th list and this is first list. And in that first list we, have, we want to access the second value 0, 1, 2. That means the 3 with 3 is going to be the output. Other way of creating list is you can use list constructor and pass the you know, rectangular closed values like this and create a list. Or you can create a list, an empty list by not passing anything to the list constructor. Once after creating the list, you may you can actually append values to the list. LST3. So that ends the list, the compound data type list, or the data structures in Python. List data structure in Python. Thank you.